Imagine you have a big assignment due tomorrow. Now, instead of thinking through the work, you decide to go to AI, ask AI question, and then you copy and paste what AI gives you and you turn it in. Now, here's the problem. If you're using AI to do all the thinking for you, you're actually not learning. That's why I'm breaking down how to use AI the right way in school. So it helps you study smarter instead of making you lazy. I'm Cantus Simmons and welcome to the Cantus Simmons Show. Uh, this website, this video is all about helping students like you, A school, land scholarships and succeed in school and life. Now, if you're ready to use AI as a tool, instead of a shortcut, let's jump right in. So I wanna take the time to give you three different ways that AI can benefit you as a student. Uh, the other day I was talking to a great friend of mine and she has a, a beautiful restaurant up in the Ohio area and she's been interviewing people for her restaurant, all right? And, uh, you know, people will send in their resumes and they apply for the job and then they'll show up for the interview. So what she found was that people were sending in amazing, amazing resumes. But when they showed up in real life, they didn't look like a resume. Yeah, it was like their resume was like a beautiful rose. But when they showed up, they actually looked like weeds. Right? They came in there sloppy, they couldn't make eye contact, they came in there with Crocs on, and their personality didn't line up with the resume. Why? Because the resume was written by AI. And so in today's video, I wanna talk to you about how to use AI the right way so it can assist you to get better grades and help you be smarter. All right, so let me give you these three ways. Number one, how can you use AI to assist you, all right? So here's the first thing, AI is not your enemy, all right? I know we've heard a lot about AI coming up and robots coming up and it's gonna change the way things are done and how people move. Yeah, I agree. But I don't want you to see AI as an enemy if you use it correctly, all right? It can actually help you learn the subject matter better, all right? So here's how AI can help you uh, learn the subject matter better. So let's say, for example, you have this assignment that's due tomorrow, right? And you kind of sort of think what you want to write about or what you want to put in this assignment, but you find that you're stuck, right? You start, some people call it writer's block, right? I wouldn't recommend that you use AI to brainstorm ideas. Okay, like if you're stuck on an essay, an essay topic, hey, what are some thoughts that you can put into AI to help you come up with the topic, right? What are some thoughts that you can use AI to help you build your argument? Now, I remember, <laughs> this is probably dating me, but I remember when the internet first came out, okay? Uh, I was in college and the internet had just come out and it was amazing because now we were able to get on the internet and do research, okay? Rather than like going to the library and have to pull down books and encyclopedia, we could go to the internet and start doing research. And the thing that you wanna do, you wanna use AI to not think for you, to not solve problems for you, but to help you research, to help you brainstorm, to help you get some ideas, all right? Now, let's say, for example, another way to use AI is, uh, let's say you wanna summarize some text, all right? Uh, you need to read a long chapter, maybe read a long chapter in a book. AI can break it down into an outline to main points, okay? But guess what? When you do this, you still gotta understand the information. All right, so now AI is speeding up the process if you have a long book and have a long text to read or have a long paper to read, now I can go through to help give you the main points. So now AI is operating like a tutor or is operating as a, uh, a, a, and a second assistant, a teacher assistant, right? Here's another way outside of brainstorming, outside of uh, helping you get the information faster, you can use AI to practice language, 
right? So, you know, I love chat GPT and you could put in certain words and now in the area of language, it can help you properly pronounce the words in Spanish, pronounce the words in French or any language uh, that you're looking for to have a real conversation. All right, so these are some ways that you can use AI, right? I don't want it to become a crutch for you, but I want it to become a great tool, all right? If you're using, let's say math, right? And you have um, some math problems that are a little challenging, right? It can explain to you how to solve the equation. But here's the deal, like if you're going through this, don't just copy the answer. Make sure you actually understand it and get it. So again, AI now is like your math tutor, all right? So here's the thing I want you to realize. AI can assist you in your learning, all right? Now, let's talk about some ways how not to use AI, okay? What not to do, because here's the reality. If you begin to rely on AI the wrong way, you're setting yourself up for failure. All right, you're setting yourself up for failure. Now, I've seen a lot of people now, they write papers, they, they write essays, they, they go to AI, they use something, and they copy and they paste it, and they turn it in as your assignment, right? And you're now letting AI write your essay for you, all right? When you allow AI to write your essay for you, guess what? You're the one that's not thinking critically. And guess what? The teachers who you spent time with in the entire semester, they can see through the bull jive. Now check this out. Let's say if you're using AI that way and your classmates are using AI that way and when your teacher gets the essays and she looks at them and she reads them, guess what? They are all are starting to sound the same. I know there was a story, um, this might have been a year ago, and I think AI had just come out and uh, a lot of students in their class, I think it was a college class at a campus, everybody turned in these essays and the whole class failed, <laughs> right? Because the teacher realized that some of the stuff was being repeated and it was all doing uh, uh, due because of AI, okay? So here's what I don't want you to believe and know. I don't want you to trust that everything that AI says is correct. AI even gets things wrong all the time, right? And so when you have your name attached to the AI, when you have your name or your grade or your assignment attached to the AI, whether you're working on a master's degree or a PhD or BS degree or trying to finish a certain class, guess what? You can't trust everything that AI says. So AI can get you in trouble if you don't use it the proper way, all right? Not only that, if you don't use AI the right way, you're actually skipping the learning process, all right? AI should be a guide for you, but you still need to study so that you can truly understand. You know, I'm often, uh, I wonder what happens when you're using AI at home behind the scenes and then you gotta show up to take a test the next day with just a pencil and a piece of paper. But because you use AI so much and haven't learned the information, guess what? When you show up to that test with that pencil and that piece of paper, guess what? It's you and you alone. But will you and do you truly understand the information? All right, so you don't wanna skip the learning process. You don't wanna just copy and paste. You don't wanna take AI for face value, but again, you wanna use AI to be a tutor, to be an assistant, to someone that you can brainstorm with, okay? So let me give you a few tools that I recommend, and you can go on Google to get these tools, and I'll even probably put some of these in the description down below, all right? So here, here are some tools that I recommend for students who want to use AI wisely, all right? These are the best tools. Um, my number one go-to is Grammarly, all right? Uh, Grammarly, you get it, Grammarly, all right? Grammarly fixes grammar and makes your writing stronger. So you take the time to, you write a paper, you write an essay, you could take what you wrote, your words, your thoughts, and you put them into Grammarly, 
and Grammarly now can take the time to go in to make sure your spelling is correct, to make sure your grammar is correct, and it helps your writing become stronger. Okay, I love how uh, Grammarly in some cases, it will even uh, show you an alternative way to write that statement. All right, so Grammarly is the first one that I recommend. The second thing that I recommend is, um, I call it Wolfram, okay, Wolfram, Wolfram Alpha, all right? It helps you solve tough math problems, okay? Now, I love um, the times that I've seen Wolfram with a student where now you have a complicated math problem and Wolfram will actually walk you through how to use uh, the equation, understanding the, the backbone of the equation, understanding what to do first, then to do second, you know, we do a multiplication and add addition and division. Wolfram will walk you through that. So now when you're dealing with tough math problems, use Wolfram Alpha. All right. Uh, the third one is one of my favorite buddies, Chat GPT. All right. Chat GPT. Uh, I like it because it gives you quick summaries. It gives you the opportunity to, you know, do quick research. I know a lot of times when I'm having ideas or having certain thoughts, I grab my cell phone and I press a button. I go to Chat GPT and I say, "Hey, can you uh, give me some ideas on what I can do for my mother's birthday?" You know, I tell my mother's birthday age and what she likes. Hey, what are some cool things that I can do to assist my mother's birthday? Or I'm, I press the button on my chat GPT and I say, hey, I'm thinking about um, writing this book on this topic, this topic, and this topic. Based on today's date and what's going on in our schools and our culture, hey, which one of these book ideas do you think would be the best? And then guess what? My new friend, AI chat GPT now, will now be give me some ideas based on my ideas and my thoughts. All right? The next one. Number three is illicit.org, okay? Illicit.org, E-L-I-C-I-T dot O-R-G, E-L-I-C-I-T dot O-R-G. It helps you find reliable sources for school papers, right? Now, I remember back in the day, you would have to go to the library. You would have to go sit at, I think it was called the catalog or something. You go to this computer and you can do research of all of the different books and journals in the library. And now you have to go get the book, find the book, find the source, take the source and document it in your paper, document it in your essay so that now you can give proof or give the source for that. Now you can use illicit.org to help you find uh, reliable sources for your school paper. So here's here's what I want to say. Here's what I want you to see and understand where AI is concerned. Okay, AI is a tool. Okay, AI is a tool. It's not a cheat sheet. It's not a cheat code. If you use it to think, it'll make you better. But if you use it to think for you, AI will become your crutch and it will become your enemy. So I want to leave you with this. As you're taking the time to uh, go through AI and go through your school season, I want you to go back and in this video, ask yourself, hey, like which one of these things, which one of these apps can I use? I want you to go back to really think about, you know, ideally, are you using AI to brainstorm? Number two, are you using AI to summarize your text? Maybe you got long areas of text that you need to read or understand. Can you use AI to summarize your text? Can you use AI to practice language? If you're speaking in Spanish or English and in French, can you use AI to do that? And lastly, can you use AI to solve math problems? I believe if you use AI the right way, it will help you study smarter. All right, I'm Cantor Simmons. Thank you so, so much. Listen, I have some other cool videos and resources here. As a matter of fact, uh, if you go over to cantorsimmons.com forward slash study smarter, I break down for you how to study smarter and get better grades in the next 30 days. All right, click the link down below and you can get access to that. And I'm so delighted that you're here. If you've loved this video, let me know down below which one of these 
um, AI tips and tricks that you can use that you will immediately apply. And also let me know if you've been using AI the wrong way. All right. And also, if you know somebody that needs this video, will love this video. Hey, be so kind to share this video with you. Guess what? I got even more, some more study tips coming up for you. Got some more scholarship tips coming up for you. Again, thank you so much for watching the Cantus Simmons show. And remember this, this will be your best school year ever. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.